right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here, and we have unbelievable breaking news to get to straight away. Maryland First Amendment activist Sean Porter has just filed a federal lawsuit against Robin Shushko and Frederick Community College as it relates to the incidents that unfolded last October of 2023. Now, you guys might remember that incident quite well. Uh, but if you guys do not remember that incident, we will uh, refresh your memories. So last October, uh, on the 3rd, I believe it was the 3rd of October, there was a pastor who went to Frederick Community College who spoke and was subsequently kicked off of the campus by security. And in response to seeing that video from this channel, uh, First Amendment activist Sean Porter went to Frederick Community College on October 5th with a sign that said F the draft, Cohen versus California. That was the uh, issue at the center of that case. And he went there with a sign that said that and he held it up. And in this now the federal lawsuit that has been filed, uh, Sean Porter goes through the motions on why he believes uh, these were First Amendment violations. So it's an 18 page complaint and in that, are five counts that he alleges against Robin Shushko and against Frederick Community College as a whole. So with that said, let's go to the claims for relief. So number one, we have violation of the First Amendment. Count two, common law assault. Count three, common law battery. Count four, denial of right to due process under law and then count five, retaliation against free speech. And those counts all unfold from the events that happened that day. As some of you guys might remember, when he showed up there, they had a back and forth. The campus security and Mr. Porter, Robin Shushko tried to reach out and grab uh, Mr. Porter's phone and made bodily contact with him. Uh, during that incident, they called the Frederick City Police Department. And um, in this complaint, there is allegations that exaggerated words were used in attempt to try to get him off. They tried to misrepresent what he was doing there and trying to say that he was disturbing things, even though he was just exercising his First Amendment. And as you guys might know, this was not just a one-off incident with uh, Sean Porter and his gang of allies going to Frederick Community College uh, to demonstrate this happened over uh, the course of weeks. And he would ultimately wind up getting charged criminally uh, in the Frederick District Court for trespassing when they ordered him to leave the property. And he did not when they evacuated the campus uh, one day. So uh, he ended up having a uh, agreement worked out with the state in that case where he would not return to Frederick Community College for a grand total of three years. That's what happened as it related to the criminal case. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if anything um, happens there, if he believes that anybody uh, involved in the filing of those criminal charges uh, might come under the gun uh, with something like this as well. We don't know at this time, uh, but with that, guys, we will see what plays out. Mr. Porter asking for $250,000 in compensatory and punitive damages uh, for the losses that he says that he has suffered, the things that he has suffered as a result of the actions taken by Robin Shushko and Frederick Community College staffed in what he claims was an attempt to deprive him of his First Amendment and attempted to chill him and retaliate against him for exercising his right to free speech. So. We'll keep on it. We'll see where it goes. With that, guys, Levi Trumbull reporting here in Frederick, Maryland, and we'll catch you guys very soon.